Hello, my name is Design Goes and welcome to another episode of our design series where we learn everything design. Today I'm very much excited. That is because we are 1000 subscribers on this channel. I want to use this opportunity to say a special thank you to each and every one of you who supported this channel, who likes our videos, who shares their thoughts through their comments and then who also shares the videos to others to see i am very much grateful and this tutorial is for you okay so if you are first time right here kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification button to get notified anytime we post a video okay so today our video is all excitement our video is all about 1k subscribers okay so we are going to use cinema 4d to so we are going to use Cinema 4D to write a test of 1K subscribers in appreciation to each and every one of you, okay? So without wasting too much of your time, let's get right into the video. Okay, so we come to more graph, more tests, and as usual, our test is aligned to the left and let's put it in the middle, hold alt click and drag and let's take it a bit upwards and then let's write 1k alright 1k thank you guys thank you okay so we choose our phone style And then we are going to use the um, Malinton Extra Bold, right? Okay, zoom out a bit. We are going to hold control and make a duplicate of it. Choose the duplicate, come to caps, fillet cap, fillet cap, fifth and the steps 10 okay 16 10 and then we are going to drag it back a bit okay nice 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 we are going to duplicate by holding control click and drag and leave and we are going to bring it a bit up and then this one we are going to reduce the depth of it to about five let's say ten ten will be ten oops ten okay so we are going to position it right in front of uh original all right come back to our view okay and we are going to group let's make a duplicate of it this one we are going to call this the subscribers okay so Subscribe. Thank you guys. I'm really excited. And then we are going to change this to a font called Auto 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 Autography. We are going to reduce it a bit. E for the move to bring it out. Okay. T E. Let's position it well. Okay, let's bring it a bit forward. Alright. And we are going to make a duplicate of that. We are going to increase the fillet cap around it. 
15, 10, 10, let's make it 10, okay, 10 is too much, 12, 10, 8, alright, 8 is fine. And then let's bring the original bits forward. Oops. Let's see. Five. Ten. I think this is fine. This one is fine. All right. All right. All right. Okay, so we are going to group all these steps by selecting Alt G. And then we are going to add a wrap. All right. So hold Shift and wrap. Okay. I'm going to click and drag and take it away from the test. Let's reduce it a bit. And today we want a different effect, so we are going to tweak the wrap a little bit. So we are going to rotate it and then we are going to see the effect it's going to give us. So it, it has given us a nice effect. Alright. We are going to select this dot to take away the distractions. We are going to select this dot to take away the distractions. And we are going to position our test well. Okay, so from here, I think we are done. So we are going to add up our materials to it, all right? Okay, so with the materials that we are going to use, we are going to use a PBR material for our original test. And then there will be a link to my Telegram page where you can get the link to download this particular PBR material, okay? So let's open the PBR material and make it up and use it on our original font. Peak. and this is our PBR all right so you choose color texture you double click on these three dots and then we are going to choose the base color no. and then we'll come to diffuse we check the diffuse box the same thing applies to diffuse double click and then we choose ambient occlusion. Okay. We choose normal. We check the box of normal. And then we take up normal. No. And we'll come to displacement. And then we are going to choose height. No. Voila, our PBR material is ready. So what a PBR material is, is typically a material with much details, all right? So when we apply it on our test, you will realize that it has too much of a detail, all right? So we close it, find our original. No test. We are going to apply it on our mono test. We are going to create a glass material for the test we put on top, all right? So this particular test, which is the mono test two, we are going to create a glass material for it to new material. 
you uncheck color, you uncheck reflection, reflectance, and then we check transparency. We make the refraction 1.52, and then we make the blurriness 50. And our glass material is equally ready. We apply it on top of this. All right. So, because it's a glass material, you can see through our PBR material and then you can see the detail that has given to our test. All right. We are going to add a ma another material to the to the back of the test. Okay, so we are going to create another material. And then we are going to choose a similar color of uh, PBR material. Okay, something like this. We are going to, oops, sorry, color. Let's see here. Alright, we are going to add a reflectance and we are going to add a GGX reflectance and then we are going to decrease the brightness to about 57 and we should be fine by that apply that one to okay and then we, we are going to change that duplicate it and change it to white for the base of our subs subscribers okay duplicate that once more and then we are going to change the color to yellow and we are going to apply that on our subscribers great 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 so let's add camera okay then let's position Let's make our camera active and let's position our test how we want it to appear when we render. Okay, very nice, very nice, very nice. And then let's add a cinema tag to it. All right, so select tags, cinema 4D tags, and we are going to add a protection tag. This will ensure that the positioning of our camera will not be distorted in any way right so this way you cannot move it around you cannot you cannot move it around you cannot move it around all right but if you want to move it and work you need to deactivate your camera and then you have a flare to move it around and then once you activate it it will bring you back to the position you selected for it all right okay so we are going to add a theater so, so yeah. let's decrease it a bit position it behind active camera let's position it behind Let's duplicate that. Bring it a bit forward. Active camera. Oops. Let's bring it a bit down. Active camera. T and let's kill it out. It was just a small object. So. We are going to add a torus. Let's reduce the radius and the size as well.
voila this brings us to the end of today's tutorial if you are new here remember to subscribe to this channel and become a part of the family and remember to hit that notification button to get notified anytime we post a video i appreciate your support keep commenting keep liking keep sharing and keep supporting see you in the next episode bye